So I want us to review again, because we have a test tomorrow. I want us to review stuff. So solve equations, solve inequalities, and solve word problems. Not a, let's, see, let's take a look. 71 and 72, the hardest it can get. First thing I got to do is get rid of parentheses. If you follow this steps, it's not that complicated. So for the first parentheses, multiply the eight on the inside. The second parentheses, multiply the positive five to the inside. So let's see, that gives me 40V plus 40. The second parentheses, I have negative 30V plus 20. This is equal to one minus three V minus six, right? I was just doing parentheses. Here's my equal sign. On the left side, when it comes to letters, 40 minus 30, that's gonna be 10 V. Then there's a 40 plus 20, I'm gonna call that plus 60. On the right side, when it comes to letters, I just have the negative three V. One minus six is a negative five. Signs are different, subtract, keep the sign of the large one, so negative five. Okay, then move letters to, to the to one side. So this minus 3v, I'm gonna move it over as a plus 3v. Don't forget to switch the sign. This plus 60, let me move it over as a minus 60. Letters on one side, numbers on the other side. So all right, there's my equal sign. On the left side, 10 plus three, 13v. On the right side, they have the same sign, so add them up. Keep the sign, negative 65. Let's divide by 13. So V equals negative five divided by 13 is negative five. Oh yeah, negative 65 divided by 13 is negative five. So there, V equals negative five. Follow these steps, like I said, it doesn't become too complicated. Get rid of parentheses. This negative one, I'm gonna multiply to the inside. Notice that negative sign by itself, I call it negative one. This positive seven, I'm gonna multiply to the inside. So that gives me two, right? That has nothing to do with my parentheses. Two, right? Negative times a negative one is positive one. Negative times a positive three X is a negative three X equals 7x plus 49 plus 4. Okay, there's my equal sign. When it comes to letters, on the left, I just have a negative 3x. Number-wise, I see a 2 plus 1, so I'm going to call that 3. Letter-wise, here I just have my 7x. Number-wise, 49 plus 4, that's 53. Okay, so letters on one side. I had to move one of my letters. When we're looking at the equal side, it doesn't matter if you move the x's to the left or to the right. I'm gonna move them. I'm gonna move my smallest x. I'm gonna move it as a positive three x. I'm gonna move my smallest x to avoid negatives if possible. Like so, when I have the equal sign, I can choose which side I move them to. When I have the inequality, I don't have a choice. Now my plus 53, let me move it over as a minus 53. So I'm gonna avoid negatives if possible. On the left side, neg positive three, negative 53, different signs. So subtract, keep the sign of the large one, gonna give me a negative 50. On the right side, seven plus three, that's 10 X. Now let me divide by 10. So I, I get the x by itself. All right, negative 50 divided by 10 is negative five. Okay, I was not able to completely get away from the negatives because the answer was negative. I said, avoid negatives if possible. Now, if the answer is negative, obviously, yeah, there's nothing I can do. All right, cool, let's take a look at number 73. Get rid of parentheses first. So the negative two to the inside and the negative one to the inside there. So when I look at my work, that's gonna give me negative two minus 14n 
is greater than negative n and a negative 2. If you can combine like terms, if anything on the left side, combine it, anything on the right side that you can combine, combine. In this case, we cannot. So I'm going to move my letters to the left side. When it comes to inequalities, the letter always has to go to the left side. So I don't have a choice. This minus n, let me move it over as a plus n. This minus 2, let me move it over as a plus 2. So here's my inequality sign. Negative 14 and a positive 1, right? Because plus n, that's basically positive 1. Negative 14 plus 1, different signs, subtract, keep, a, keep the sign of the large one. So let me call this negative 13n. On the right side, negative 2 plus 2, that's 0. Now let me divide in front by the number in front of the n. So in this case, let me divide by a negative 13. I'm dividing by a positive, so my sign has to flip. Now 0 divided by a negative 13. 0 divided by anything. There's no such thing as a negative 0. So I'm just going to call this 0. If I just have to solve, n is less than 0. If I have to graph, there's my graph. Open circle is 0, and it goes to the left. Let's take a look at number 74. I'm going to multiply the 5 to the inside. I'm going to multiply the 4 to the inside. Right, I'm getting rid of parentheses. So that's going to give me 40 plus 15n is greater or equal to 4n minus 8 plus 5n. So there's my inequality sign. On the left side, nothing I can combine. When it comes to letters, I have 15n. When it comes to numbers, I have 40. I like to write the letter first, so that's why I move them, you know, swap them. Now, on this other side, 4n plus 5n, that gives me 9n. And then there's a minus 8. Okay, so letters on the left side. So this positive 9n moves over as a negative 9n. This positive 40 moves over as a minus 40. Right, I'm switching signs. So there's my inequality sign. On the left side, 15 minus 9. That's going to give me 6n. Negative 8 and a negative 40. That's going to give me negative 48. Let me divide by the number in front of n. It's a positive, so my inequality is not going to flip. So I get n is greater or equal to negative 48 divided by positive 6 gives me negative 8. If I have to type this, n greater or equal to negative 8. If I have to solve it, close circle at negative 8, and it goes to the right. Now, word problems, we have to read this a little. Heather and her best friend found some money in an envelope. So there's two people, right? Heather and her friend. They split the money evenly, each getting $26. How much money did they find? Okay, so I have no idea how much they found. So I'm going to call, every time when we don't know the value of something, we replace it with the letter. I'm going to use M for money, right? So they found money. Remember, they split it evenly. So I'm going to divide this by two. I'm going to divide it by how many people. There was two of them. And then each of them gets $26. So the money divided by 2 equals 26. Well, how much money did they find? So what's M? Notice that I said earlier, use any letter. Shoot, I want to use M because it's it shows money. But we can use any letter, right? Now, M over 2. M divided by 2. The opposite of dividing is I'm going to multiply by 2. Because then M gets by itself. 26 times 2 is 52. Okay, they found $52. Let's take a look at number 
76. Mike rented a bike from Jennifer's Bikes. It cost $17 plus $4 per hour. So $17 plus $4 per hour. If Mike paid $41, then he rented the bike for how many hours? Remember, this thing cost, I'm going to write $17 plus $4 per hour. So I'm going to do four times H. I don't know how many hours. So I'm going to call H for hours. $4 per hour plus $17. And then his whole bill, everything came out to $41. Okay, so I want the 4H by itself. So this 17, let me move it over. Don't forget to switch the sign. So I get that 4H is equal to 41 minus 17. Let's see, that's what, 24? Now let me divide by the number in front of H. 24 divided by 46. All right, so he rented the bike for six hours. There we go.